Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus Sun readings for additional clarity. Especially your Moon and your Venus when it comes to love. This is going to be a timeless love reading. It's for anyone that is not exclusively with someone. So if you're hoping for someone, wishing on a star for someone, asking if someone is returning, um, or completely single, we're going to see what's coming towards you. I'm going to pull characteristics and messages. And then at the end, I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles to see if you're... Um, initials your person's initials singles person coming towards you i'm going to pull initials to see what comes out reject it love and look at this this doesn't even need a title on a beach it looks like by water bike riding i do feel like it's like in the summer or the spring could even be you know some time in the early fall when it's still warm but she has like an off the shoulder romper he has shorts on intoxicating love it almost looks like the same all right we'll see oh chaser control pause they all fell out My Aquarius is spirit. For my Aquarius is. Aquarians. Denial. Reject it. I do feel there was, for some of you, even if you're single, at one point, you might have been all into a connection, might have expressed how you felt, and then you were rejected. Balance, yin, yang. Darkness into light. Getting centered. Listening to your higher self when it comes to love. sacred space calling for you Aquarius to whatever is yours your apartment your home even if you share a room and or you have a room in someone you know it's your space so keep your space your car what is around you sacred because it's yours it's also within that energy that you can be close to your spirit guides be close to the universe and what else okay and for some of you there might have been a person you met in the spring maybe you separated in the spring A person you're asking about, their birthday might be in the spring. Let's see. Characteristics for what's coming towards my Aquarians. I'm going to pull a few because it's not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. And at times where you feel like you need clarity and guidance, I do have my Etsy shop. The link is down below in the description box always head over there there's um, a variety of readings and I just add additional ones some are currently on sale until the 31st so you can take advantage of that shoulder length hair March which would probably well now I feel like spring is April but somebody you may know their birthdays in March that you're thinking about cancer so what is that at the end of June, beginning of July? Okay. 
Aquarius. You're showing up. Summer. So we have summer and spring. Dimples. All right, let's see what that one is. Fair skin. What else for my Aquarians? All right, there's two. Winter, wow. For some of you, it could be happening very soon. And Virgo. Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius. March, spring, winter, summer, shoulder length hair, dimples, fair skin. Okay? Let's see what messages come out. It was all, it has always been you. I will always remember you. I can't admit how deep my feelings are for you. That even could be the rejected love and the denial. It's like they weren't ready to face the, the intense feelings that they were having. Sometimes I can be a really poor communicator. I wish you could go back, we could go back and start over. All right. For those of you that are single meeting someone brand new, it's always or it's always been you might be something that they say to you. Hopefully they don't say that they can't admit their feelings for you. All right, let's see guys. champion of swords so it's definitely your energy showing up Libra, Gemini, Aquarius I feel like you want to rush towards someone you want to seize the day and rush towards someone could be a water sign Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio it's like you're follow they're following their heart and you, you're following what your your head, your emotions are telling you, your thoughts are telling you. It's like you, I, you may even be moving in towards them because they have their back towards you, like they're looking a different direction. So if you are interested in a Cancer or um, Scorpio or Pisces, and you're thinking about a Cancer, might be in separation. You know, you might have just started dating a, a water sign. They could be showing up right here. For those of you that are single, maybe a water sign. The devil. Strings attached. Capricorn energy. I feel, I feel like both have both of you have had some negative energy. Things that have ended, people that have walked away from you. They could be fire signs, an emperor, maybe an Aries, Leo Sagittarius, divine masculine energy. If you have that within your chart, it's like you rising above the difficult times that you've had specifically Aries. So if you have Aries in your chart, I feel like you're rising above the hurt. Please clarify the Champion of Swords for Aquarius energy. Mm. 
Yeah, see? Worth fighting for. You know what you want to put the fight in towards. Who you might want to put the fight in for. I do feel like it may be a water or fire sign. Please clarify the Champion of Cups. As Aquarius. Aquarius is person. Yeah. I feel for some of you, you're at a distance from someone and it can be very well this rejected love. I feel like your person has felt pain from the separation, maybe pain from other things that have taken place in their life that made them at a time feel emotionally unavailable. And I do feel that they're having a hard time opening their heart up. You want to rush in and you want to like save the day and fight for it. But I feel like they're just, yeah, see, it's like they're emotionally unavailable. They're trying to find more peace and harmony within themselves and their thoughts. Not trying to be their worst enemy. And please clarify the overall outcome. I feel like that's why this person can't admit their feelings for you right now. Yeah, see, there was an ending here. But I have to say, with this ending, there's going to be a transformation. Like I said, this person's like taking back control of their life. Yeah, there is a transformation going on. And I do feel like they're traveling towards you. For those of you that this is brand new love, your person coming towards you has been through, like I said, some pain. Definitely has been through some pain, but I feel the transformation has gone through them. And now they're showing up as in control of their emotions, as in control of their life. They know their self-worth. They've taken back. Um, you, you know, they've taken back and restored their broken heart. And they're coming towards you with love. They might be at a distance from you. But it's like they want a connection that is more peaceful. There's more harmony. Less baggage. No codependency. No addictions. No feeling like, you know, they're going to be left out in the cold. All right. Yeah. You definitely want a new beginning with this person and it could be a fire sign with the emperor here it could be aries leo sagittarius and they might have water in their chart but it's like you want to move towards them they're very sexy to you they're very confident they're very charismatic and for those of you that it's someone that you're thinking of from the past there's a lot of passion between you and this person the person that's showing up here is moving very slowly away from the pain. They're, you know, they're moving very slowly through the transformation of not feeling emotionally available. They're coming out of that, but it's very slow. They're breaking free from feeling that. Yep. Yep. They're coming towards you with their heart open. Three of Pentacles wanting to come towards you and work on it together. You know, I feel like you're being noticed for the effort that you've put into a connection. Maybe even being rejected and this person going through denial. There is balance coming to this connection. This person's going to come to you and spill their heart out. It's now open for you. For some of you, I, I'm telling you, it was very intoxicating, very passionate. For others, you know, you could have gone for a ride on the beach with, you know, bikes. You might live by a beach. They might live by a beach. And you visited them there. Or they visited you. 
but here is like this is what I'm getting like this king of swords energy being very you know upright and stern this one's has her head down and crying it's like he's rejected it he's emotionally unavailable it doesn't matter if this person's crying right in the moment he's made his choice and he looks like he's confidently walking past it's because this person has have, has had previous heartbreak but whether it's new or someone returning they're traveling towards you with their heart open For those of you that it is a brand new, um, a brand new person coming in, I feel like they're moving very slowly to you. They are becoming unstuck, and they want to find a connection that looks like this. They're currently manifesting it, and they're currently healing. They're breaking free. By the time they get to you, they are going to be emotionally available. All right, spirit. I've been so grounded all my life, it's hard for me to trust the spiritual elements of our connection, yet I can't deny they exist. See, I do feel they were trying to get some ground under them. But no matter what, they can't deny it. You are my true love, my heart, my soul. I love this, Aquarius. Like it says, it's always been you. Even though for some of you have been rejected or you felt rejected, they never stop thinking about you. I've never felt love like this before. You see that? The depth of it can be inspiring, but also overwhelming. Pay attention to rainbows. You see that rainbow right there above their head? Spirit, and what else? For my Aquarians, I'm triggered. An old pattern has surfaced, and it hurts. See, that's the energy I'm getting here with the Champion of Cups and the Three of Swords. It's like this person being the water sign that they are, being about emotions and feelings. It's like they confess their feelings. They had their feelings completely open, maybe even humbled um, and told a person, a connection, and they turned them away. I feel this was a cycle that, you know, kept going into each and every connection. That's why they're moving towards you very slowly. They're moving out of being emotionally unavailable and they're breaking free from that. They're trying to cut off this old pattern so they don't cause it in this connection with you. This journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lessons, which is patience. For those of you that are single and this person's making their way to you, they're coming in strong. They're coming in transformed. They're coming in knowing their worth, not wanting to play games. No more bullshit. No more codependency. The planets are activating us to heal and bringing us closer together. Surrender to our changes. All right, Aquarius. Let's see. Remember, for some of you, spring. How spring might, you know, stick out to some of you. Winter. You could be coming into union with this person in winter, or summer might stand out somehow. Okay. O, C, U, I, I have a couple I's. Empty one, so you can use that where it fits. G, T, L. N E. Let's see. There's two N's, there's two C's, and there's two T's. I hate that I'm even drawn to this word right now, but it says C U L Colt. Wow. 
like L-I, no, Lint. I'm looking for names. Um, Glenn, G-L-E-N. Len. Could be the empty Scrabble tile. L O V E. But yeah, even if you want to pause it, if your initials, their initials, two C's, a G, three E's, two N's as in Nancy's, Nick's. Two T's, L, and then we have I's and O and I O U E. So the only one missing is the A's out of the vowels, but everything else. Um, I see nine, if that number stands out, nine, I also see ten endings, but yeah, so we have these initials here, it could be the person that you're thinking about, it could be the person for all of you that are single coming towards you. You might have stated an in with someone. Yeah, but always let me know how it resonates, and I will be back for many more readings. Have a great weekend.